Earlier we were discussing uh, exclusions, demographics, digging in there. And uh, so we're in a client's hours campaign. We have video targeting. We have demographics right there. We were discussing demographics earlier. Based on the data we got from a video prior, we can make adjustments here. Interest, a lot of do-it-yourselfers, affinity group and stream, remarketing, placements. This is something to consider. Uh, so placements, this is where we're going to do some exclusions. So we want to get rid of some apps. We don't want to be showed up on some uh, some app that's targeted for children that has nothing to do with anything. We want to exclude that. Now if you want to see where our ads are shown, this could also help with where we would exclude. Girlfriend versus brother, who knows better as a YouTube and display ad. And we can see the views right here. Now hopefully, the uh, if we're looking at 100% of it, the costs are right there. We can uh, have conversion tracking set up where we can see what the flow is, how the filter is going the, uh, from the point of watching the video, for example, or display advertising, and they go into the, uh, our website, and hopefully they get to the conversion, which is either a form or a phone number or something along the lines which management would consider to be a conversion. So here's a big one, and this is display advertising and video. Uh, content exclusion right there. That is so overlooked. Uh, see all this right here? By default, it just goes embed videos, live streams, games, profile. It just goes for all of them. And uh, if you're selling something like, you know, how to use this gel to antique furniture, I don't think you need all this. I mean, teens, I don't know about that. Analytics will tell you more of the story, but you would definitely want to do the content exclusions. And this is in your AdWords. So we're discussing, I was discussing with someone earlier about, uh, excuse me, but display advertising, and, and this is, is a definitely a big deal. So we're uh, going back to analytics. So diving back into analytics, there was a little hiccup there. We already went over demographics. Now if we go over to audience and overview, we can see, uh, we can see who's coming from where. Now if we want to add a segment, such as people who purchase over $100, We'll add to that. And that gives us something. Now we can make a, an audience off that for remarketing, or we can look deeper inside the infinity and in, in marketing other categories. So e-commerce, we can see the revenue, the transactions. It'd be better if we actually did the comparison. So right there we can see the home and do-it-yourselfers surpass as far as uh, the, the users, the traffic, but are there transactions? And how's the revenue looking? So we can see inside of there that the, the big dog is uh, lifestyle hobbies, outdoor enthusiasts. We click deeper inside there, start digging away. And we're looking at the age 35 to 40, 44. Now, what gender? I, I don't know. Let's see how first uh, source medium, see how they're getting here. Okay, wait. Source medium. The paid search, so the big guys right there, 35 to 44, Google organic. Now, what gender are we looking at here? Now we can see that it's mostly male. So earlier showing about how we can do exclusions with certain ad campaigns. And uh, this is definitely something we can take into consideration. If we look up here in the bread tip tray, bleh, bread tape, breadcrumb, that was a hard word for me. There's, there's the path right there. Now if we want to go to in market segments, here's some more content revenue, let's do transactions. And we have 
auto motor vehicle guys uh, home decor furnishing and we can do it once again a comparison okay so this is pretty close to one another let's look at uh travel this is offbeat let's see where it is okay so mostly this age bracket how are they finding it source medium okay but right now we're just measuring users we haven't touched bounce rate okay that's something right there to consider how about transactions and compare that with revenue so we can use this data right here for in market segments and the exclusion as far as we don't really need to advertise that these guys that's paid search paid search they're not making us you know any money and if we want to add further filters into this you know we can add segments so we also have other categories so this can get really really geeky it's a matter of uh what's the conversion tracking is set up what's the end game what's the goal you know what are we trying to accomplish fill out a form make a phone call it's a, a lot of moving parts so i hope this made some sense and this is mike